Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to do this very simple but sophisticated looking makeup. I love a bald lip paired with plenty of mascara and neutral colors. You can wear this makeup for an event, for a cocktail, for a date because kiss proof. But I think that for the evening it's just uh, so much more appropriate to wear this because there is a lot of like shine going on. All right, before we get into this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's super important to me. And also click on the ring bell button. You'll get notified whenever I'm posting. And if you want to see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. I feel like I talk about it all the time, but I still get the most questions about how come my teeth are so white? Well, I wasn't born with it. I'm using Smile Brilliant and I've said it before. I have a whole video about it. It's just easier to show you like that. They create custom trays for you. I only use it once a month now or once every six weeks. I only keep it for 40 minutes, even though they say you should put it on for one hour and a half. No way I'm going to keep this for one hour and a half. It's just too much for me. Besides, my teeth are not very yellow naturally. I don't smoke and I'm not such a huge coffee drinker, you know? I just drink one tiny little coffee in the morning with milk. So I strongly recommend you this. If you want to get your teeth whiter, this is working. And there is a link in my description box where you can purchase this directly. Okay, now let's move on into this makeup tutorial. I'm gonna use the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. Apply this all over my face. This is really smoothing the skin. It's that kind of a uh, silicone-y primer. Did you see that I've curled my lashes? In case you were thinking, what is different about her? Curl my lashes. We're gonna use a new foundation here on my channel. This is the Surat Beauty. It's called Surreal Skin Foundation Wand. Looks like this. And then it has a brush. You just press it like so. And then the product comes out, you see? And I'm using number eight. If you're watching me on Instagram, if you're not, you should. Just think. You know that I've used this foundation before and I actually really like it. It's very natural looking on the skin. This is what we're going for today. Natural. So first I apply it with the, the brush that comes with the foundation, but um, Allow me to say that I don't like the brush too much. So I'm going to take my Morphe G40 brush, which is the best brush in the world for a concealer, foundation. This brush is doing the job for you. Okay, this foundation is like wearing nothing on the skin. I love it. You see me applying foundation with either with my fingers, nor with uh, the brush, nor with the beauty blender. And you're probably wondering like, oh, like, why is she changing? So here's the thing. There are some foundations that work better if you just press them like so with a beauty blender. There are some foundations that work better when you just work them into the skin. And there are some foundations that work better when you apply them with your finger. But there is also a difference in the finish. So if you want something super, super natural, you use your fingers. If you want a little bit more coverage, you use a brush. And if you want like full coverage, use the beauty blender, okay? So now you know. I'm just going to apply a second layer right here. I feel like I need just a tiny little bit of coverage right here so such a luminous foundation I like it a lot now I'm going to move on with a bronzer and I'm going to use this Chanel Soleil Teint de Chanel such a beautiful bronzer you could use it all over your face 
but the way I like to apply it, I'll show you. <laughs> I'm using this brush. I do not know the name of this brush. It's from Kat Von D. It's like you're touching very expensive bristles. And then instead of like rubbing it like so, I'm just gonna tap it. You wanna apply the bronzer wherever the sun hits you, like the temples, the forehead. You can even apply a little bit in here. If you don't, for those days where you don't plan on applying any eyeshadow, just apply some bronzer right here. It's going to just bring the whole look together. It's gonna to look super natural. Also do like a swipe on the nose, like so. All right, guys, now when it comes to concealer, a lot of you tell me like, how do I hide the blue, deep, dark under eyes? And here's what I always tell you. Now I'm going to show you because I have a little bit of blue. It can be much worse, but I want to show you how I would cover. First, I would use this corrector. This is from Clinique. This is the Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer, and it's actually apricot. The color is apricot. So I take a tiny little bit of amount and apply it where I have the blue situation. And this orange is going to just neutralize the darkness. Can you see? It didn't cover, so this is not supposed to cover. This is supposed to neutralize the color, okay? Don't try to use loads and loads of concealer because it's not gonna work. Sometimes you get gray under your eyes when you're using a concealer that's too light, hoping that you're gonna cover, you know? I'm going to come with this Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but I'm actually going to use two colors. One is Warm Beige and the other one is Porcelain. I've mixed them together and I'm going to apply it with my finger. And you're going to see now there's no sign of blueness whatsoever. I like to apply this concealer with my fingers. Of course, you can absolutely use a brush. I just really like the finish when I apply it with my fingers. It's super, super natural. Now that we have applied concealer, I'm going to go ahead and apply this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light. This is one of the most beautiful natural highlighters. If you think that highlighter on you looks like kind of chunky and like kind of glittery and looks dry, try this. You are going to love it, I promise. I'm applying it with my fingers because I want this to be Super easy for you. I apply it like so uh, first, so, you, so that you can see exactly the placement. Now I'm going to start to blend it. And I think we can all agree that this is so pretty and natural and easy. I'll also do it on the bridge of the nose. Now I'm gonna set everything with a powder and I'm, I'm using the Laura Mercier, the good old, old Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'll use this brush from Hakuhodo and then I make sure that there is no product that creased. If it did, I'm just going to spread it with my finger and then immediately set the under eyes. You want to set the under eyes first. Too Faced Chocolate Gold bronzer and this is the kind of bronzer that has a uh, shimmer in it so the way i recommend you to use this is more like um like all over your face to give you that glow like all over glow and for that you should use a bigger brush i mean this is just my advice it doesn't mean that it's the perfect way and the only way it's just my suggestion like tap it all over like so like I said, more like a all over bronzer. I wanted to do a very, very natural bushy brow. Like these, this is how my brows would have looked like if I haven't plucked them at all, probably. I had really, really 
thick bushy eyebrows when I was a kid. They were basically like a monobrow. Once you plug your eyebrows, unfortunately, they don't grow anymore, at least for some people. I'm one of the sad cases. So anyway, I wanted to create this brow just for the sake of this video. It doesn't mean that you have to do it, but in my mind, I had this idea of creating a makeup where the brows and the lips are going to be the focus. So a lot of brows and like in a super dark lip. The thing is that I've tried to create some hairs like right here. I normally have no hair, like my eyebrows would be till here. And then all in here is added. Now let's move on with the eyes. And I've received these beautiful eyeshadows from Marc Jacobs. They have amazing colors, something that everybody can pull off. They're long lasting, they feel like butter, and I've already tried them, so they're very, very long lasting, and that without using a primer, an eyeshadow primer. These two colors, particularly, I'm obsessed with. I know that you would think, oh my God, you could find these in like every single eyeshadow palette, but actually you don't. And the first thing that I'm gonna use is this Hoola bronzer from Benefit with a blending brush. Any blending brush would work. And this is going to be my transition shade. Very, very close to my eyebrows, like right here, you see? Because I'm basically going to sculpt the eyes, but because I have the deep set eyes, I'm going to apply it a little bit higher than where my crease is. Go towards the nose. That's going to give a very sculpted, thinner nose. I need a smaller brush because I have such tiny eyes. Same bronzer, take a 219 brush or a pencil brush if you have one. This one is from MAC. And you apply the same bronzer on your lower lash line. You see how I already have a shadow like right here? That's where I'm applying it most. And then I connect with the one on my lower lash line. I'm taking a clean brush and I wanna diffuse this edge right here. Now I'm going to take this taupey eyeshadow. This is in daddy -O, and apply it at the base of my lower lashes and at the outer corner. Take a clean brush and diffuse this. Now I'm going to take this color from Marc Jacobs. This is the Big O with a 231 brush and I'm applying this right under the eyeshadow that I've just applied. And also I'm going to blend right here the eyeshadows together. Now I'm going to take this super slim Marc Jacobs pencil. I love this, the color, it's just perfect to be applied on the waterline. And it's super long lasting. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but um, as I blink, this is going to fade a little bit and it's going to give the eye the illusion that the eyes is so much bigger or are so much bigger. Eyes to mesmerize Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadow. This is in Marie Antoinette. I'll just take it with my fingers and I'll apply this right on the middle of my eyelids and also at the inner corner and apply it on the middle right where the light hits a little bit like on the tear duct. Now you're going to take any black long-lasting pencil. I'll actually take the Inglot gel liner with an angled brush and you want to apply it on your waterline but on the upper lashes. For me it's easier to do it with this product. This is going to look like you have eyeliner but not really. Then you can take any black eyeshadow, like any black eyeshadow, with a very thin brush. Um, this one is from Zoeva. It's a 329. It's for lips, but you could absolutely use it for this step. And you're going to apply the black eyeshadow very, very close to your lash line. 
take the brush and basically just tap like so bam bam now I'm going to apply mascara this is the Tom Ford mascara For my lower lashes, I'm going to use this Extended Play Giga Black Lash from MAC. Let's not forget that my lashes have been curled before we started to do the makeup. I'm dying to do the lips. Uh, I'm going to use this lip liner from MAC. This is in Beat. Now for the lipstick, I'm going to mix these two lipsticks from Doso Colors. One is Merlot and the other one is Bury Me Too. I love this lipstick. Now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and with an angled brush and with the glasses on I'm just going to perfect the contour of my lips this lipstick is oh so beautiful isn't it I will use this iconic London illuminator okay this is a lot <laughs> I will apply it on the nose as well. I've put on my extension, my hair extensions, and I realized that I don't have a blush, so I'm going to use this Ofra that's completely broken in Raisin Hakuhodo B110 brush. All right, guys, I've applied some individual lashes from Ardell in Mini. These are tiny little lashes. They're so, so tiny, and I've applied them I mean, that's why they are called minis. And I've, uh, I've applied them on my lower lashes just to give it a more dramatic look. Other than the lips, I think that the eyes are super soft. Let's zoom out, please. All right, guys, this is the final look. I really love this look, and I think that it's super simple because it doesn't involve any eyeliner or glitter you know it's sometimes a little bit harder to work with eyeliner and glitter simple and easy just the way i like to do it let me know in the comments if you like this look if you did please give it a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the ring bell button so you'll get notified whenever i'm posting a new video you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm very active on my Insta stories where I'm sharing my life with you, basically. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.